Hello and welcome to five minutes tutorials on RF Pro. In this tutorial, we will look at techniques of generating test bench and sub circuits from RF Pro. Now, before we begin, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable the notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend a few minutes in understanding this cool capability of RF Pro. To illustrate, I have a couple of case studies. In the first example, I do have this multi-layer laminate um, you know, case, which we have been talking about in last few videos. I have set up a user-defined analysis to um, you know, simulate a portion of my design. In here, the highlighted section shows you the portion which was simulated. There are a couple of ports which we have connected for our analysis and after simulation, of course, you can look at the S parameter results produced by the simulation. Now, if you need to access these in a schematic, you can, of course, generate a test pinch from RF Pro. Now, when you generate the test pinch, because it's a pure passive simulation, you can notice the generated schematic, which has two ports, uh, two terminations, of course, um, as per RF Pro setup, and a two-port S parameter file containing RF Pro results in a form of SIO, which is an internal ADS format. But essentially, it's a touchstone file in a binary format. Now, there's another option which you can, um, of course, utilize is to generate a sub-circuit. Now, using the sub-circuit, you can create a view in existing cell where you have in place of terminations, you have these two pins and the same two port as parameter file. Now, once these options are available, if you look at main ADS window, you have one view, which is a sub-circuit view, which happened as after a second you know, action and then contain you know, a schematic containing the complete test bench from your first action. So both of these are reflected in the main ADS window and you can use that as an example. Now in the second test case, we do have an MMIC amplified test bench where you have a particular schematic design which you are being analyzing. And here is the circuit performance with all the schematic components. Now let's go ahead and switch on history because we will need it later. Now, if you look at the layout of this MMIC filter, you can notice there is one active components, which is FET declared as circuit. And same has been included into our analysis. And this FET is four port, and there are four external pins to, or four external ports for this MMIC circuit. And after you perform simulation, you have the four, you know, eight port as parameter data, of course. Right. Okay, so now because we already have a test bench in my schematic, I don't need to use this option. I can simply create a sub circuit. It will create a view in the existing cell. And here you can see the beauty of RF Pro. You have one FET device and an eight port as parameter data. And the FET is already connected to the EM simulation data so that designers don't need to even spend one minute extra to set up this EM circuit co-simulation. That's automatically done by RF Pro. Now you can realize the power in case you have 20, 30, 40, you know, circuit elements, everything will be stitched together in RF Pro simply because when you load the entire design database in RF Pro, it has all the connection uh, you know, properties retained. And when you create a schematic out of it, that's been, you know, shown to you outside and the fully integrated schematic is generated. Now, in this case, just to illustrate this further, if I, I create a duplicate setup and I will rename this setup by some other name, let's say without inductors. Now in here, I intend to not, sim uh, not to do EM simulation on these spiral inductors. And you can notice there are five inductors. I will simply convert them to circuit. And now once they are defined as circuit, I can add them into component model. Now rest of the setting remains same because we created a duplicate setup and we can perform a new momentum simulation. Now, while that simulation is happening, let's understand what will happen here after the simulation is completed. Now we have four ports, which are external ports. There are four pins uh, for the FET. So EM data will have eight, Plus, we have five inductors, each inductor having two pins, which will result in 10 additional port. So overall S parameter simulation data will contain 18 ports, out of which four are for external connection, rest everything for internal. And you can of course see that in the S parameter uh, data, you can see there are 18 ports with a proper nomenclature here. 
All right, so once we have the data simulated, now what if we generate a sub-circuit from here and we create a new view in the existing cell? As long as your EM setup names are different, different view will be created. The earlier view will not be overwritten. Now, if you observe the schematic, which we just generated from RF Pro, one FET, five inductors, and all of them are connected with this EM data, which is 18 port as parameter file. Isn't that cool? Imagine if you're doing a very complex simulation, how this cool capability of RF Pro will give you peace of mind. All right, so in the test bench, instead of a schematic, we can switch the view to full EM, which is a complete EM simulation, except the FET. When we run this analysis, you can see the comparison with respect to the circuit simulation which you perform. And now we can also switch the view to EM without inductor. We run the simulation. Now all three results are available for you to compare and see how the response changes with different EM circuit co-simulation setup. Isn't it cool? I hope you like this capability and it will be very useful in your design work. So stay tuned for more videos on RF Pro and keep enhancing your knowledge of the tool and utilize it in your practical design work. Thanks a lot and best of luck with your design work.